Away from elections, President Akufuado has described his administration's achievements in the health sector as unprecedented, asserting that the country's health infrastructure will be transformed with the completion of the Agenda 111 project. Speaking during the commissioning of the new Urology and Nephrology Center of Excellence at Kolebu Teaching Hospital, he emphasized that there is more to come from his government in the sector. Channel 1 News' Samir Yafin reports. The new facility station at the premises of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital is a private-public partnership initiative aimed at making kidney urology treatment affordable and accessible to all Ghanaians. Acting CEO of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, Dr. Frank Ousu Setra, says the new facility will become the game-changer in healthcare delivery. That this facility will be the cornerstone of our enhanced kidney transplantation program. Our local team has plans for additional transplant sessions. And with the commissioning of this center, we will significantly increase the number of transplant surgeries we can conduct. I take this opportunity to appeal to Your Excellency, the President, the relevant stakeholders, to expedite the passage of legislation governing tissue transplantation in Ghana. This will make transplantation services readily available and affordable for the teeming ailing Ghanaians and other patients. Health Minister Dr. Bernard Okuboy says the health architecture of Ghana is about to change. It is important to mention that the abandoned maternity and child block at the Konfanoche Teaching Hospital, which was started by a champion over 40 years ago, has been brought down and restarted anew by President Nana Adudankwa Ekufuado at the cost of 138.5 million euros. It is refreshing to note that the Eastern region is now getting a befitting fit for purpose regional hospital at the cost of $70 million. President Akufado, who commissioned the facility, outlined some of the major achievements within the health sector under his administration. We've also made significant strides in reducing maternal, adolescent, and child mortality rates. The Institutional Maternal Mortality Ratio, IMMR, has declined steadily from 127.3 deaths per 100 live births in 2018 to 102.1 per 100 live births in recent years. Furthermore, Improvements have been recorded in reducing neonatal, infant, and under five mortality rates. Despite these gains, challenges remain, particularly in ensuring equitable access to health care services for children across the country. For managers of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, this facility is a game changer. It will ensure that persons who suffer from kidney disease and other diseases will get first-class treatment from this facility. For Channel 1 News, my name is Sami Riafeh.